So we're also, as believers, supposed to abhor evil. We're also we're going to overcome evil with good. How do you do that if you sit this one out, if you, if you just decide not to do anything? I don't think that's an option. I don't think that's an option because it wasn't an option for lots of people in the Scripture. It wasn't an option for Jesus who, who, and, and Paul and a lot of the apostles who, who, who had to deal with government straight on, had to deal with politics. Look, politics is involved in everything. It, they're, they're involved with, with 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 your business. They're involved with how you can have a family. They're involved with with your freedom. They're involved with the, you know. Can you have a gun? Can you? There's an, they, they touch everything. So everything is legislating morality. It's like whose morality is the most important though. There's only one morality that that matters that comes from the master creator. So that's the morality. Everything is like every. If I tell you not to steal. Or I tell you, you can't you know, go over 75 miles an hour. That's because we care about people, and we don't want you just driving all over the place and smashing into people. So that's legislating morality. That's part of the things that we got to understand as Christians is part of what we get to be involved in. We get to say, look, I agree with these sets of policies. They're not going to be perfect. But the thing you ought to care about is how close they are to, to, to what Scripture says, right? You ought to do three things. You ought to do your homework, look at the candidates, Compare them to Scripture, pray, and what what you act on your conviction as long as it lines up with Scripture, and go do something. You got You got to activate. You can't sit. You can't. You can't just sit out and hope it goes. Hope it goes well. 